Yeah. What can I say about that out there today? I wasn't that happy about how I was how I was hitting it. So I'm just going to try something with this uh, alignment stick. And then I'm going to put it up here. Just lodge it in the net. So that alignment stick is going to be my uh, release point from my hands. So when I step in, I'm thinking throw, throw, throw it there. Right? That actually forces what I'm working on. Hit it, hit it straight. <laughs> hit it straight. That's the key. Actually, you just hit it with what you've got on the day, but I just knocked that straight. So it's all in the throw, it's the release through, let the club get in the way. That's twice I've hit it. I don't want to break this alignment stick because I quite like it. it. Shows you how accurate it is. I mean, you're literally hitting a stick that's that thin in the middle <laughs> with a seven iron. <laughs> so working on that principle then, because that was definitely working. We'll put that there just for a reminder. And I'll pick a spot and I'll throw my hands at that spot, which is right there. You can see how when I do that with my hands, the club comes out on the arc and actually comes out this way giving you what Mike Austin termed the true release. So you're coming in, coming in, and it's whoo. So your hands are thrown to the target and the head is falling behind your hands. Therefore, you're giving yourself a huge arc to hit on. And you can see that that is back on the money. Interesting stuff because obviously playing about with how high my throw point is and they have lowered my throw point there and I can feel where my hands are going which makes that club come out and stay on target. And it just does it every time. And that is very much the key to how this works because you're throwing, but as you throw, both hands are throwing it. So if I was letting that go, it's throwing it. The club just comes around and through. Then you just take that in and throw your hands. To get up out the club and just throw your hands. throw it's a double handy throw. Hey, we'll leave it at that. And it is great having that idea there, but you've got to remember it's a double handed throw, so where's this hand going? Whereas if you throw with both hands, this is what's happening here. You would have to release that to get it to go to the target. You would have to release the club, which is after the ball, which actually makes your mind says, my hands have to be here. So you're here, your hands have to be whoa, and there they go, see? So that's how it works. So your release point's there, it swings up here, through and release. Club just gets in the way of the release. Your mind says, I know, 
the my hand has to be releasing out here and you just say release so it's release your hands here so you know it's there so it's like uh, swing it up and release Do two things at once at a time. Release your hands here. Release. So it's there. There. Five. Release. It's not a delayed release, it's just that the top half's moving. And that's why we built in that pause so that I could release. trying to do. And that trick when Mike Boston where he went down, this was on a piece of string and he went through. That's really what's going on. You just got to get this. There. drill it by setting your hands to the target next to the wall. From there you want there. Scroll up till you get the throw and release matching with your hands. So it's from there to there. There. Small. Release. And then once you've got that, you can do the full release. It's working on. All right, here that would be get that release there. is there for everyone to catch. Not, not here, not here. The speed's here. 